brethren, I pray you sing a new song. Sing praise in the assembly of the righteous. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let the high praise of God be on the mouths of the saints and a two-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance on the demonic nations and punishments on those peoples to bind their kings with chains. This honor of all his saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sing to him a new song. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, Bahashem, and Mashiach, Yahweh Shah. In this lesson, I'd like to go over pride. And sometimes pride, we deal with it as man of the Lord, but we shouldn't. But sometimes, you know, that uh, demon creeps in on us with it, but we got to learn how to fight it. And sometimes when we out there on the highways and byways, we see Jake, Eve, and Esau, you know, everybody dealing with pride. So I'm going to bring some scriptures up. Uh, dealing with pride and how you should not be prideful and first scripture i want to go to is wisdom of solomon 5 and 8. this is wisdom of solomon chapter 5 verse 8 what hath pride profited us question mark or what good have riches with our vaunting brought us so he's basically being sarcastic he says what has pride did for us, basically? What has vaunting, another word for pride, for what has had did for us? It's done nothing for us. So, and and if you continue to read the Bible, you will understand that um, Yahweh Shah and Yahweh and uh, Solomon and all these people, they'll give like questions and they'll be like sarcastic. They'll be sarcastic behind it, like uh, many examples with it. So, I'm gonna get another scripture. This is Proverbs eight and thirteen. It says, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. So if you fear the Lord, you will hate evil. Pride and arrogancy and evil way and a forward mouth do I hate. So the most high hates somebody that's being prideful. You know, I did this better than you. I can do that better than you. I can do 50 sit-ups. I can do 50 push-ups. I can go swimming faster than you. I got the better car than you. All these things. And arrogancy is like being prideful in an evil way. And a forward mouth, a mouth that's always speaking evil and deceit towards people, he hate that. So you should avoid um, being prideful, you know, boasting about all these little things because he can just like that, take it all away. So uh, stay in Proverbs. I want to go to 16 and 18. So this is Proverbs chapter 16, verse 18. Pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. So we all know what destruction is, you know, chaos and all that. So it says pride go before destruction. So after um, you be prideful, destruction is going to hit right there. It might not hit at that minute, at that moment in time, but we all know that the most high God don't forget. So pride go before destruction and haughty spirit, a haughty spirit walking around here like you can't be touched. Uh, I'm better than him. I'm better than him. You know, before a fall, you're going to be ultimately brought low in the estate. So stand in Proverbs, because Proverbs, really, man, Proverbs, if you haven't read it yet, you should. I want to go to 13 and 10. This is Proverbs chapter 13, verse 10. Only by pride cometh contention, but with well advised is wisdom. So I'm going to reread the first part. Only by pride cometh contention. And we know contention. And for the people that don't know, contention is like arguing, you know, strife, friction. So only pride cometh contention. So when two people is arguing, somebody in that argument is being prideful. Somebody is not, you know, being humble, like, okay, I'm right. They both got to get their side across. Nobody ain't, you know, coming down low, being meek. You know, they both trying to get, they argue back and forth, you know, and that's not going to get you nowhere. And it says, but with well advised is wisdom. So somebody that's well advised, they're going to use wisdom. They're going to be like, okay, okay, you're right. You're right here. I'm going to wait till you get done talking, brother or sis. You know, you're right. Okay, I see what you're bringing. I see your point of view. Instead of trying to argue with them the whole time, that's not going to get you nowhere. So stand in uh, Proverbs, I want to get 27 and 2. So this is Proverbs chapter 27 and 2. Let another man praise thee and not thy own mouth, a stranger and not thy own lips. 
So I'm going to chop and screw it. Let another praise thee. You shouldn't be walking around, you know, I brought out this many scriptures at camp. You know, I got this many videos. Another brother should be like, yeah, that brother ain't not putting in that work. Or he should come to you one-on-one -on -one, like, yeah, brother, you know, you putting in that work. You know, keep doing that. The most high is proud of you. You shouldn't be letting that come out your mouth. And not thy own mouth, what I just said. A stranger. That means somebody, it can be somebody you may not know. Or a stranger um, in this symbolic form means not your own mouth. You know, and not thy own lips. So your own lips, you shouldn't be walking around here praising yourself. So I like to go to um, Psalms 10 and 4. So, I, so this is Psalms chapter 10, verse 4. The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after God. God is not in all his thoughts. So I'm going to chop and screw this. It says the wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after God. So uh, a wicked person, you will try to, you know, try to get not a wicked person, a prideful person. You will try to get them to, you know, humble down and try to listen to what you bring out in the Bible. And at the end of the day, they're not going to listen to it. That's how prideful people is. They're not going to do it. So uh, let me fix the camera. So they're not going to listen to um, what you're bringing out, what you inform it to them. They're going to be like, yeah, I already know all that. I read the Bible. I read the Bible back in three times. Oh, I got to go do something. I ain't trying to listen to that. So I'm going uh, to continue with it. It says the wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after God. God is not in all his thoughts. A prideful person, they walking around here like they got the whole thing, you know, the whole, you know, shebang like they like they say in the world. So they're not going to listen to the most high. They're not going to put on fringes. They're not going to stop eating pork because they think they got everything figured out in their own mind. You know, they leaning into their own understanding in that instance. And you shouldn't want to do that. So jumping with that, I want to go to Isaiah 13 and 11. Why are you running from me, man? This is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to seize and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. So I'm going to chop and screw it. It says, I will punish the world for their evil. And we all know who run the world. You know Esau, you know all that. And he's going to punish Jake 2 and Eve if you're not hearkening to this word. It says, I will punish the world for their evil. And the wicked for their iniquity, because we know the wicked, you know, do all type of iniquity, you know, having sex with their sister, hoeing the daughters of Zion, um, doing drugs, you know, eating pork, all these type of things. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to seize and seize means stop. So and that's also symbolic for he's going to kill because we all know he's coming back to kill and, you know, uh, return to his people. So. He's going to kill two thirds of Jake. We already know that. And Eve. So it says, um, it's like I lost my place and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to see. So he's going to kill and stop the arrogancy and he's going to stop the proud people. And keep on reading and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. So the haughtiness, like um, I brought, out, I think it was in Proverbs of the people walking around. He's going to stop that. He's going to, hey, you know. You should have listened, you know, should have listened to Israel because at the end of the day, everybody's going, everybody's going to know about the Israelites. So everybody is going to like know the truth and all that. And they're going to know you're not supposed to be prideful. But like I, like I read, I think the scripture before this, the prophet is not going to listen to it. They're going to keep doing what they want to do, you know, all that stuff. So when he's come back, he going to say, hey, you know, this, he going to put a screen up of everything that happened. Yeah, you did this. So now it's time to go, you know, uh, so staying in Isaiah, I want to get 2 and 12. So this is Isaiah chapter 2, verse 12. For the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon every one that is proud and lofty, and upon every one that is lifted up, and he shall and he shall be brought low. So I'm gonna chop and screw this. For the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon every one that is proud and lofty. Proud and lofty, and lofty is another word for proud. So the proud people, like I said, that's walking around, don't want to hearken it to the word. He says, uh, 
and upon everyone that is lifted up that think they're higher than everybody. And let's go for Esau too. Esau think they're higher than everybody. And the higher up Esau think, uh, and Esau in general, they're, they got a, so much pride that they think they don't got to listen to the word of God. It's a lot. And he said, um, and upon everyone that is lifted up and he shall be brought low. So another thing for um, a symbolic for being brought low is he going to humble you, you know. He gonna throw you in the lake of fire and said, This is um you had your glory in the world, you know. You didn't want to be humble, you know, you didn't want to be meek, you didn't want to uh because it tells you in I think it's second Corinthians or first Corinthians how he loves a cheerful giver, you know. You didn't want to give this, you know, you want to be profitable with your money, you know. So he gonna bring he gonna bring the proud low. It's crazy, crazy. You should you should avoid being profit being slacky being profitable and we know america um they promote wickedness they promote being prideful you know uh their cars like we built this with pride you know they even in sports you know they give out the mvps and stuff to people and you know it's a symbolized for basically pride like i'm better than you you know i can dunk higher than you you know i can jump higher than you you know i can run faster than you i can score as many points as you you know look and not to, not to throw out LeBron, but LeBron, and I think it was 2015 finals, he said, yeah, I'm the best player in the world. So, I, hey, I got all the confidence in the world. Like, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be saying that because it's always a person out there that's better than you at the end of the day. Hey, we wasn't, Yahweh Shah, he wasn't boasting. He, you know, he wasn't doing all this stuff, so we shouldn't do it. So, uh, with that, I want to go to Jeremiah. 9 and 23. Um, so this is Jeremiah chapter 9. Uh, is this what I want? Is this what I want? Kind of. Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 23. Thus saith the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. So if you wise, you, hey, you shouldn't want to be glorifying in your wisdom. Like, yeah, I got more wisdom than you. Like, you see how many videos I did? You see how many views I got? Like, come on, bro. I'm better than you. You shouldn't be wanting to do that. And it says, neither let a mighty man glory in his might. So if you, you know, strong, you know, you mighty in the word, you shouldn't be walking around boasting every single day, every hour, every millisecond of the day to people like, y'all can do this. You seen the video? You know, I'm an Israelite, right? You know, I can cut you smooth, right? You know, you shouldn't be wanting to do all that. And it says, um, in his might, let not the rich man glory in his riches. So um, if you... You know, you can be rich in spirit, and we know Revelations, you know, 2 and 9, you know, it says thou art rich, you know, we rich in, you know, the glory and our inheritance and stuff like that, but you shouldn't be walking around, you know, glorifying, like, yeah, like, um, let me try to think of something, like, uh, to other brothers, like, yeah, I can do this better than you, you know, hey, you know, Judah, hey, you know, you got this and that, you know, you shouldn't be wanting to cause strife like that in front of your brothers, you shouldn't want to do that, so, uh, I just want to get this this last in the scripture. The video wasn't going to be long. Um, it's just something quick over pride. And the last one is in Matthew. Matthew 6. And I'm going to start at 1. So this is Matthew chapter 6, verse 1. Take heed that ye do not your alms before men to be seen of them. So when you're doing alms and alms is like charity work, you shouldn't be like most of the celebrities and most of the people that have a camera on them 24 seven and they do it and they put it on social media. Like, you know, I'm giving back to them. I'm giving back to the poor. It's basically like why everybody watch me and give me my glory from men, from men and women um, that I'm giving to the poor and needy. They just want to be seen by men. And it's going to say that. So I'm going to read it. It says, take heed that ye do not your alms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise, ye have no reward of the Father which is he which is in heaven. So you're not going to have your reward in heaven if you're constantly going to be seen by man of doing all this charitable work and all your good deeds. You, hey, it's either one or the other. You saw the look. You're gonna get your glory on earth right now in the wickedness of the earth right now, or you're gonna humble yourself and you're not gonna do your alms in front of man or be seen by man and get your reward in heaven and keep the commandments. Well, I'm gonna keep reading. Verse two, therefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee. So do not make it like alert or make it be seen as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and the churches 
and in the streets that they so I, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. So I'm going to chop and screw it. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start after Trump. It says, before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues. So we know in, um, in churches, they give out alms. You know, they praise the Lord, you know, uh, have a camera on them. You know, all these um, uh, big um, prop, not prop, I ain't going to say prophets. All these big false prophets, you know, they have the camera on them 24-7 on a um, YouTube channel. And they giving out all and they um, accepting alms from people. And giving out alms and they just want to be seen by everybody as this this glorifying figure no that's not what you should want to be uh doing and it says in the streets and we know people like they'll go on the street corner just to give something out or you will go on youtube or facebook and they got um a caption is like giving back to the poor and it's like a big youtuber that's giving out money to the poor with a camera on like you shouldn't be wanting to be seen by men doing these things and it says that they so I, that they may have the glory of men. So uh when they doing that, they having the glory of men. Like, damn, like this guy is really nice. Like, I want to be like him. Like, man, look at him. Look at him, man. He's like that's what that's what's going on. Verily, and he says, Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. You have your reward by saying by being seen by men. You don't have reward of the Father. Verse 3. But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand nor the right hand do it. So don't be out here glorifying like you doing alms. Just, you know, be humble and meek. You know, go up to somebody if you see somebody in need. Like, hey, you know, her, you know, but don't be, hey, yeah, but, you know, I have to give this man, you know, $100, you know. You know, in front of all your brothers, like, you just, like, you just that nigga. Like, you just all that in a bag of chips. Like, you the most hot. No, you shouldn't want to do that. In verse four, it says that thy alms may be in secret and thy father which seeth in which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. So when you do alms in secret, like you giving him, you know, giving this and that and this and that and nobody knows about it. Only you and um, Yahweh Shah and Yahweh know he going to give you your reward openly. And people going to be like, damn, he, he got that. What is what is he doing? Like, Boom, boom, boom. And still then, when they ask you, you shouldn't still want to say, you're just going to be like, hey, just tell them, you know, you pray, you know, don't pray for vain things, you know, blah, 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 blah. Don't let them know all your stuff that you're doing. Con. So, with that, I'd like to give uh, all praise and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, by Shema Mashiach, Yahweh Shah. Shalom. Stay safe.